Welcome back to Booze Briefs. I'm Matt. I'm Derek. Which felt like with the name like Sagamore. Like I feel like it's... <laughs> Have you lifted that bottle yet? Yeah, I did. I did. It's got like sweet edging. Mm-hmm. Etching, excuse me. 1909. It's an old bottle. Mm-hmm. You think that's really that old? Or do you think they just put that on there to be cool? Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with the second one. <sighs> yeah, probably. That would be too cool if... It's actually a bottle from 1909. <laughs> Been used in three murders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, you pointed out just a few minutes ago, we haven't done anything from Sagamore yet. Not one and, thing. And, like, they're well known for doing good rye. Yeah. Like, in fact, this is the only one I've had, and that's a problem. Because their regular supposed to be good, their double oak is supposed to be really good. Yeah. They have several others, but their website's not loading it's right cool now. It's a cool bottle. So, yeah. And, like, it's all angular and... 114 years old, I guess. Yeah. Is that the right math? No. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Math pod. Okay. Uh, dis- oh, distilled in Indiana. Bottled by Sagamore. Mm. So, a uh, little MGP. Mm, interesting. Liquid in here. Real cork. Okay. Take that, Penelope. Oh, do you think this cork's from 1909, too? Uh, how did they get it back? I'll pour this time. Okay, you pour. Say when. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, keep going. Ooh. Ooh. Boop, 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 boop. Whoa. So tell me what you get on the nose, Matt, because there's one thing that jumps out at me. <sighs> so this is the Sagamore Rum Cask Finish Rye. It's 98 proof. The bottle is 750 milliliters. It's hand bottled. 750 milliliters? It's that many. Oh my goodness. This is batch 1A. Bottle 2563 um, by AR. I I get like tropical fruit. So this is a uh, five to five and six year old rye blend, hand selected barrels, or, or oh it's aged then in hand selected barrels from South America and Jamaica for an additional ten months, then blended them back together. Yeah man. Uh yeah I get. Oh, I get, I get scared of that bottle. Um, I get, like, fruit. Yeah. For me, I get just, sugar. like... Sugar. Cola. Yeah, sugar. Yeah. Like, a generic like a cola, not root beer thing, but just, like, a shitload of sugar. Yeah. And rum. Yeah, it smells thick. Yeah. Like, the, the actual smell coming off of it, you could, like, hit it's, it with a, it's hit got it with a, a katana. It's got a katana. <laughs> it's got a weight to it. Ooh. Yeah. So this says, uh, the Jamaican rum barrels contribute notes of ripe banana and bright pineapple, balanced by the rich vanilla and brulee sugar character of the South American rum barrels. A unique combination enhancing the spice of our rye. That is a weird place to get the heat from this. I don't get it on the sides of the mouth. I don't get it on the gums. I don't get it on the top of my tongue. All underneath the, my, the bottom of my tongue. That's the only place I get heat from that. Huh. That is really weird. Ooh. Hmm. See, I think I like this a little bit more than I did previously. Because the first time I had this, I was like, this just tastes like rum more than rye. Why am I going to spend, I think this was... 65? I really like that. Yeah, I like this more than I thought. And now, like, I'm getting past just the sweetness on the nose, and I'm getting that, like... Plantain. Er, well, like, herby, piney notes from the rye, too. That's really good. That's interesting. I could yeah. not have more than one. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So, we've done some ones that are... Uh, Caribbean rum cask, yeah. like the Angel's Envy, which well, is the worst thing I've ever tasted. No, it's not. No, it's not. You're right. It is. It is terrible. It's so damn sweet. Ugh. And I've read things that it's because they're putting like rye syrup in other barrels, and then so they say, or not rye, uh, rum syrup in other barrels. That way they can say they're aged in rum barrels. Even though they weren't really mm. used to age rum. So that's why it's so cloyingly sweet. It's like... Huh. Uh, cloyingly? Like, we, we haven't used that on this. No. 
It, it's like the camus of rye. Yeah, true. That's just so jammy and sweet that it, it, it detracts from all the other flavors yeah. that it could have. It, it impresses people who think they know what's good. Yeah. I, I like this, there, though. There's, there's, my, there's my snootiness for the yeah, day. I was just saying, good God, man. People, somebody out there is going, yeah, well, fuck that guy. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're not going to be sponsored by the Wagner Group anytime soon. I know, we won't get free Mayomi or Camus. Uh, As I said, drink what you like. Yeah. Just bring me something that I like. Yeah, right? That's all I ask. If somebody likes Prisoner, get them Prisoner as a gift. Yeah. I like the little brother to that. I like the Juggernaut. Mm-hmm. I think it's great. And you can find it cheap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't have to pay the, the big bucks. Mm-hmm. But for this, I would pay the big bucks. I mean, that's that's yeah. actually really Look good. Up, see if I can figure out how much that was. Spring-fed. So all their stuff. That's, that's pretty cool. And, and this bottle is... Pretty. Um. So yeah, it looks like it's around seventy-ish. Okay. And I, for something that I'm gonna have one pour of, like we talked about with the Penelope, mm-hmm. you're not gonna drink this every day. If you do, you should just drink rum instead. It's, it's cheaper. A hell of a lot cheaper. <laughs> it's a lot cheaper, and you're gonna get kind of the same effect. But I like that. I didn't even look. What was the? What's like? Oh, forty-nine percent. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. It doesn't drink Ooh. that hot. No. Um, I was trying to see on the quick review there if it said the price, and it did. It, I think this person paid 75 and that sounds like what I paid. Makes sense. But this person who wrote the review on thewhiskeyjug.com said they think it might make a great old-fashioned. I'm like, oh, shit. Ooh, that's already so sweet, though. That might be good, though, because I don't worth like... Worth in court. Yeah, so I don't like to use a sugar packet in my old-fashioned. Yeah. I just like the bitters and the and the bourbon. Like I, I don't, I don't want it really, yeah, really orange peel, right? I mean, yeah, an orange peel. Okay. Yes, but I, I don't like to add that sweetness to it. Yeah, because I think then it's just like, uh huh. Call me Sea Biscuit over here <laughs> eating sugar cubes. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a fan. If I saw it, I'd buy it. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I wouldn't be. I mean, seventy-five is fair. Like you said, it's. I feel a little bit better paying that kind of price for something I don't. Not because I don't like it, but because it's so different that I don't feel compelled to go to it all the time. Right. Yep. That's a second row in the cabinet because you're like, eh. Mm-hmm. It's it's close enough to the forefront that I can see it. Yeah. And if I'm like, eh, feeling froggy, might as well. Mm-hmm. I like that. Score wise. Mm-hmm. Man, oh, that t- hold on, I want to add a little bit of water. Oh, it's aqua, yeah. Just a little bit. That sip I had, uh, sorry to steal Penelope's language here, viscous. Ooh. It's not creamy. <sighs> mm. Didn't dance on my palate with like Barishnikov. Uh, overt sensuality. <laughs> <laughs> Makes the nose much hotter. So uh, I was going to say it actually softened out the edges on the nose for me and made it a little creamier. I think that does the... I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't it's, know. it's like this is all subjective. That's true. It, it don't, stop, stop, stop. I mean, I don't. Except for the Valconis rye. That's the worst thing ever. Matt and I talked after we... So we recorded it. I haven't put the episode out yet because we just shit on that rye. Mm-hmm. And I emailed the Literally. People. Literally we well, shit Well, no, not, li- <laughs> not literally. I didn't anyway. I don't, I don't know what you do in your own time. But I emailed the people at, at Balconis, and I thought about making another video, but I don't want to edit that one and relive it again. But I will just say kudos to the people at Balconis mm-hmm. for like communicating with me, and they did their due diligence, and they're like, tell us the barrel that came from. Send us a picture. We're going to go make sure that that one was good. And they're like, we tested it. We got all these notes out of it. We hope you'll taste it again. I tried it again. I thought it was better than my previous experience, so maybe it was their communication skills yeah, making me find notes yeah but I still didn't like it no no there's no way to like it so hey maybe it's just not for me yeah exactly if they like it do them but uh yeah yeah anyway I, I forget why I went down that road I really don't know I, we were going with scores oh no it's talking about the worst thing we've had oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah there we yeah, go yeah, that's yeah, yeah. so what are you thinking out of 100 on this one what are you going to give this 
I don't think water changes it that much for me. I mean, the nose a little bit, a little bit more heat, a little more. Mm. It softens, for me, it softens everything about this. Huh. Nose. Oop. I'm getting more heat on the finish now because of the water. Uh-huh. But it takes out the like chewiness of this that I think makes it so good. It's still only underneath my tongue. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Um, I think it's a 87. Okay. Yeah. That's a fair number. I was going to go 85. Yeah. Because I think, you know, for what it is, it's not a, it's not a banger. It's no. not like, this is a, like, holy shit bottle. It's no. a, it's, it's a great bottle. I would buy this bottle and at mm-hmm. an 85, uh, for 75 bucks, it's a little high. It is. I think, you know, it's got a cool story, and it's different, and it competes with stuff that, like, you don't normally have on your shelf. I think that's a good point. Like, I'm willing to pay a few extra bucks when it's different, as long as it's good different. Not a like, good different, yeah. Yeah, you know, we age this with pork rinds. Like, fuck it. No. I, I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to that. I like <laughs> pork rinds. I don't like whiskey. I just don't want them. Sure, do, you, do you have to shake that bottle every once in a while so it doesn't get the, like, layer on top? Um, just remember, I think it's the Veil Brewing in Richmond just made a beer that had fried chicken in the mash. That's disgusting. Not just like the breading, like whole ass pieces of fried chicken. Dumping KFC up in the the mash. I I didn't see if they got it from like a local (laughs) vendor. I was like, just because you can doesn't. That's true. Maybe you should. Yes. Sometimes too much is too much. But a few extra bucks for something that's different. Yep. I will do that more than like when we talked about the Penelope video. This four grain Penelope, it's a few extra bucks and just nothing. It's not needed on the shelf. It's not needed to spend. So yeah, no, I agree. I like it. Um, I buy it. I I give it eighty five. Right on. So, well, we got more stuff to drink. We do. I I unfortunately drank mine. I got a little bit left. Yeah. So Mm. I I should probably put something in my glass, which I'm going to do here in just a minute. You put something in yours. Yes. And Derek's going to finish what he's got. Mm-hmm. So until next time. And we haven't told you yet. Smash that subscribe button. Oh, that's right. Click like. Tell yeah. a friend. Tell an enemy. We don't care. Just tell somebody about it. You've made it this far. Congrats to you. Hey, big guy. Or girl. Hit that button. <laughs> that's all you got. It's yeah. very easy. And uh, yeah, we'll see you around. Cheers.